Hello, Influence Warriors. Here we are on this uh, video. I did this PDF first for a masterclass, then you can watch on the masterclasses, but I want to include as a content for week uh, four, because I really believe this is very, very important and fundamental for, the key, for, for you to start having more followers. And maybe you are going to get kind of annoyed with what I'm going to say, but this, in my opinion, is the reason why you don't get more followers and as well, the solution, how you are, can change that. So followers, what else is possible? Let's have a serious and honest conversation about followers. Uh, let's start by reading the definition of followers on the dictionary. A person who supports and admires a particular person or set of ideas. So, a person who supports or admires. If you want to have followers, you need to give them reasons for them to support you and or admire you. Okay? Uh, why do you want followers? Normally, the answer is... Oh, I want followers because I want my business to be more successful. But that is a wrong answer because I understand that is the machine that we are in. We want followers because we want to show off how many followers we have. We want to show off how many likes we get. We want to have a statement. But the reason why you get frustrated is because the, your why is wrong. You should want followers because you want to transform their lives. Followers should hang out on your account, not because you follow them to unfollow. You should hang out on your account because they know they give value. And value can be, uh, you can make them laugh. You can tell honest stories. You can share uh, being vulnerable vulnerable, <laughs> you can, you can create a solution for their problems. You can show your zero to hero story situation. You can teach them that is giving value. Okay. So you need to go back and understand what kind of content are you posting and look to your content as an outsider and look to your content in an honest way. Just ask yourself, if I saw this content from someone else, do I go and like? Yes or no? And why? It's very, very, very important this. So now let's talk about influence. Influence, don't put influence in the same way than uh, manipulation, it's different thing. A manipulation means then you have a bad intention or at least that intention to get where, what you want from someone. An influence should be something will happen when you live your own truth. So if you know your why, uh, what we learn on the influence school, if you know the reason why you are here, if you know who is your audience, if you know who you want to be, then your influence should be a consequence. As strong as your why, more easy is for you to influence someone. For example, <clears throat> I have one influence warrior and she teach makeup to help women uh, coping with depression or going out of depression. That why is so strong, then creating content and influence people is not difficult. The only thing she needs is to have presence then why and keep sharing, telling her story, her why, showing examples, making the difference. So influence is the capacity to have an effect on a character development or behavior of someone or something or the effect itself, itself, okay? It's 
really important sometimes to know the meaning of words. Sometimes we have the meaning of the word slightly different. I don't like the word influencer because I think we use the word without always associating to young kids uh, with expensive brands doing crazy stuff. But look at people who influence you in your life and see the difference and choose what kind of influence you want to bring in. Then is the question why people should follow you. Again, why they should follow you. Be honest, why do they should follow you now? Do they have a reason to follow you? It, it, we have this idea, then we just drop some, some stuff on, and because of the people get viral and we don't see the work behind, we feel then we get frustrated because we don't get the same love. But if you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend that you don't like, how do you think that relation will exist? The rule for people to love us is to send them love. So what are you promising online? Learn with me and get in shape. Watch my journey. Learn recipes. Laugh with me. Learn how to dance. Change your state of mind with what I share. That is the reason why quotes, citations, are so strong online, so strong on Instagram, because they they shift a person from a moment to the other, and that is giving value. What are you promising online? The honest truth is maybe you don't care enough. And sorry to be rude, but this is true. Majority of us don't care enough. And let me explain to you why you're not getting followers. Start by part one, retention. Retention on business plan or business means when you have clients, you have new clients, you have retention. Retention is clients then bought from you already. That is the reason why the best products are products who clients need to keep coming back to us and not they buy one time and they go. But at the same way, retention on followers, it's a real deal. Somebody yesterday told me, oh, but I just have, I just start a new account and I just have 42 followers. And I said, can you imagine 42 followers on this room that I'm in? Can you imagine how many 42 birthdays is? Can you imagine then if 42 people pay you 50 euros a, a month, how much money that is? And how can you scale that? Just stay, just have. Look to them. When you just have four likes on your photo, look to the people. Even if it's your family, start showing appreciation. Retention, if you start doing what I'm going to explain to you now, retention is the game change. Before you go out looking for other people, before you learn any other thing with me, just think about retention. Do you reply to your comments? How many comments do you have now on your Instagram? Then you never, ever did reply. I want you to today go and check all your comments, reply to all the comments and better go to the accounts of people who comment and do some extra comments on them. Okay. You can even comment and ask a question. You will multiply your comments. Do you like the post of your followers? Do you spend time checking your followers account? If you spend time checking your followers account, do you realize what that information gives to you? Like who's following, where they are come from, what they have in common with you? Do you comment on their posts? For sure not. Or for sure not enough. And I want you to start doing that. Because before you complain about not getting more followers, respect who took the time to follow you. Did you like, if you are following someone, then that person come back to you and show some love? How that made you feel? 
exactly. Solution, book a day, an hour on your week or on your day uh, to for taking care of who loves you already and your engagement will explode. Just try that. Try. One hour. One time a week. Tell me how it went. Now, new followers. Part two, new followers. Do you know your audience? Who, what is your niche? What is people, what, what people are going to follow you? For example, some years ago, people following me did love techno. Cool. I know my audience. They are normally uh, between 22, 35 who love techno. Who they follow? Mm, they'll follow Pig and Dan, Drum Code, few other artists. In the case that you have like a restaurant or a, a physical place, what other uh, shops exist on the same region? Do they have an account? Or it's like a location, like Amsterdam City or Cannes. If you know that, you go to that location, look inside of the Instagram account, and we're specific talking about Instagram today, and start interacting not with the top uh, posts, but with the recent posts. Because if you have a local audience, there is your gold. Okay. Extra. Interact with leaders. Let's imagine then you run uh, you run a coach coaching service for business women. What are their leader accounts? So you need to look for business women leader accounts, big accounts, and you can do a few things. One, you can look for people who are commenting on the posts because you know if they comment they are more is the kind of followers you want you want followers who comment followers who react followers who take action okay then you go you start contact you start you 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 what you do is you go to their account if it's not private and you check their account you check their vibe you see what they are about you find something that is connected with you and you go say hi anna i saw that you live in amsterdam i used to live there how is for you did you are you born there question oh my god i see you have two kids i have six how are you do you, it's a boy and girl if like stupid question oh my god your dog is so sweet i have two dogs as well it's a, it's a male or female question question ask for interaction question shows then you care shows to other people then you care as well not just the people then you are interacting then another thing that you can do is push the notifications to that posts, that leader posts. Look, like for example, Gary V, uh, Tony Robbins, uh, Kim Kardashian, whatever. Push the notifications. As soon as they post something, you go and you are there giving value and showing a comment to that post. And then liking the comments of people who like, who like posts already. Cool. Target who comment was exactly what I said. Target a location, like I said. Target a hashtag. Don't target uh, feet. Target feet Amsterdam or feet Lisbon or feet can whatever. Not a monster hashtag. Uh, can be a monster hashtag. You need to go to recents always, but keep an eye on what are you targeting. Keep an eye to the account. No, don't, point one, don't spam. Don't, if we are going to that, don't comment with meaning. Care, care, okay? Do a compliment, ask for advice, offer help. Don't sell, don't pitch, don't advertise. Don't sell, don't pitch, don't advertise. Don't sell, don't pitch, don't advertise. Don't do that. It's not what you want. Run giveaways. We have a masterclass about giveaways. Uh, I just uh, check on the masterclasses. Do collaborations. 
to get more followers. Collaborations between friends, uh, collaborations between the same business, collaborations between different business. Collaborations are key. Use rooms on Instagram. Now you can, at the moment that I'm recording this, you can have four people in rooms at the same time. The, the audience will go back and forth. So it's really interesting. Uh, use apps as Clubhouse. Clubhouse is bringing me a lot of followers. So amazing. I love it. Create your own community on Facebook. Some people are still on Facebook and Facebook have a lot of people with money to spend. So create a community on Facebook and then transport them for your Instagram. Want results faster. Okay. Create a plan. Ask your family to help, meaning put a plan together and take a specific time to look for audience and to connect with contract a VA. A VA is a virtual assistant, is a person for a small fee from another part of the world can um, do this kind of job for you. But let me tell you, and if you have the opportunity to jump on a message, jump on a message, or if they follow you, send them a voice message yourself, not a VA. Your, your voice message is one of my golden rules. If you want to know more, we have videos about that. Train your memory. If you want to be influent in life, in Instagram, in Facebook, in Clubhouse, whatever, train your memory. Know details about people. Know the names of their kids. Know the names of the dogs. Know where they are from. Be sure that you don't say a, different, a wrong name train your memory, whatever age you have. Okay. I have influence warriors with 65 euros years. So do that. Okay. Build leaders, not followers aim for smaller model followers, but we we'll love you. We'll die for you. than for a lot of people who don't care with you, I am guilty from this. I did uh, grow a hundred thousand followers and before the pandemic, because that brought me a lot of gigs and requests. Now what did happen is with the pandemic, my audience was not ready to buy anything from me and I pay a price for that. So now I'm building people as you then are leaders and not followers. A little notes about one of my favorite books then is how to win friends and influence people. How do we influence people and win friends? Do not criticize, condemn, or complain. Don't do that. Be generous with praise. Remember their name. Be genuinely interested in other people. Make people feel important. More ease you have with that. More pleasure you have with that. More you deep, deeply care more results you will get. Okay. Um, this is really important for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I see you on the next video.